What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and in today's video we are taking a look at the new faith collection from Calva Plan. I'll say Christian faith because I know faith uh, could mean a lot of things to a lot of people but this is Christian faith. As you can see there is a cross representing um, the crucifixion crucifixion and the death of Christ. So this is a Christian planner. Um, so we've got a planner. This is a 12 month planner undated. This is different than what she first came out with a few months ago, which was a six month undated planner. And there are some changes here that we'll go through. So uh, a new 12 month undated Christian faith planner, and then a new volume two faith basics sticker book. So we're going to open these up. Um, let's set this aside. All of these items come out on Friday, October 13th at 10 a.m. Central Time. I will leave my affiliate link down below. These were sent to me by Heather as an affiliate so that I can share them with you and you guys can get a good sense for what the product is like since I know, you know, you can't hold it in your hands yourself. So my hands are your hands uh, when I do flip through. So, okay, so here is the decorative box you are going to get when uh when you order the planner really pretty this so my volume one and the first planner are actually upstairs in my bedroom because i've been using them so i don't have them to compare but you'll see pretty quickly it's a very similar aesthetic with the soft pinks and sage greens and kind of watercolor florals and it's very calming so you've got plastic pink plastic discs it's classic uh, happy planner size which is nine discs and I'd love to see some new designs from Heather in the faith planner um, maybe with more punchy colors since we've seen um, the calming I mean calming is really nice for a faith planner let's be honest but yeah I wonder what this would look like with some punchier colors I have loved you with an everlasting love Jeremiah 31 3 really pretty and very like feminine okay so here's our name page planning a life I love 12 month faith horizontal planner I did want to say I love that this is, well let's let's just keep going let's let's keep going okay for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future Jeremiah 29 11 and uh, I just love everything about a neutral planner like this as far as uh, not having a lot of headers on it because you can make these columns whatever you want them to be. It could be Bible study. It could be uh, advanced planning. So uh, let's see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, so you have enough to do basically a whole year at a glance if you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yes. So these front pages are for your year at a glance. So you can label them and then just put numbers down uh, vertically. And I like that. I like that it's got a cute little design here. And then you can date this however you want. And the positive for it being undated and not having this up at the top is if you want to start <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to pick up this planner in October and start it in November, because the last faith planner sold out very quickly. So if you missed out on the first one, now's your chance to get an undated 12 month planner. And if you wanted to start it, say in November, you could have November, December, January, and so on. So I really like that. You can start it whenever. Then we have prayer request pages. So you have a column for the date the prayer request and the answer. And I like this again from the previous book because prayer requests are ongoing and sometimes you don't see God move in your life for a long period of time. And I like being able to write down um, something that I'm praying for and then circle back to it a day, months, years later and go, oh my gosh, like I didn't have an answer when I was asking and yet I can see God's plan in my life unfolding and this is what happened uh, in a response to prayer. And so you're able to kind of go back and see God's movement in your life. And so I really like uh, logging prayers. I think that's a really important thing to do so that you can see how God moves in your life because we're so quick to forget, right? When things get really, really hard we get blinded by our humanity and we get blinded by sin and we get blinded by just 
the struggle, right? The struggle being so real and we need to be able to identify God's movement in our lives. And sometimes the only way we can do it is when we document it on paper. That's why I'm a big paper and pen person because I love being able to go back and seeing how like the story of my life that God has written uh, it, it evolves and is revealed over time. And if I'm not actually going back and seeing where I was at before, I don't remember. So I love prayer request pages. And then we have um, just an open grid section here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this could be a year at a glance. You could put maybe um, your maybe a primary prayer, or like hope for that month. You could put in a gratitude, something that happened in a given month that you want to remember, whatever the case may be. Maybe you're doing a 12 month Bible study. You could put maybe what the books are of the Bible, the verses that you want to go through for each month whatever the case may be. So now we're going to get into the monthly planning pages. One of the things that people really love about Heather's planners is she has deco on both sides. There's no monthly attached to it. And what makes this planner different than the previous one is she has removed, check this out, she has removed the monthly layout. So the last planner had monthly the monthly layout and it was six months. This planner does not have the monthly layout. It goes directly from the dividing page to a currently page and then your weeklies. And the reason that she did that was she got feedback from folks saying, I don't know how to use the monthly um, within the context of a faith planner. And so she just removed it. And in doing so, freed up some space to give you more planning pages. So I think that is actually a really good um change to this you can always add because it's a disbound system if you need a monthly overview let's say you use this as your primary planner not just for like journaling or bible study you can always add some monthly pages here at the front of the section so i love that that there's flexibility here to add that if you want it but it's not essential um, to this planner. So uh, another thing I really like about the dividers on Heather's planners is they're a bigger tab. So instead of five or six months, you just see four and it gives you a honkier size. Honky? Yeah, I think that's the word I want to use. A honkier, more generous sized tab up at the top. So you have plenty of pull space, I guess you could say. So we have um, our first divider. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, Hebrews 11, 1. Again, our currently page. And then let's sit in the weekly page for a, sec for a second. It is undated, so we know that that faith basic sticker book is probably going to have some dates for us. But I just love this. I love that the paper quality is really, really good. This is thick not cardstock, but a, a thicker weight paper so your pens aren't going to bleed. And I just like that it's clean. There's nothing down the spine. There's nothing in the corners. It is a, a, an open canvas. So whether or not you're using this for faith planning, journaling, Bible study, whatever, um, you can find a use for this and you can decorate it however you want to match whatever you're using these planning pages for. I have really, really been enjoying using these pages for journaling. I have long been not a fan of the Soap Method Faith Planners just because it's too guided for me. And for me, like faith, like Bible study devotional time kind of ebbs and flows like in my life. So uh, I might be doing a 100-day devotional or I might be reading through the Bible or I just might want to write prayers or whatever the case may be. And the horizontal layout really scratches the itch in all of those different categories. So I love this. Rather than a ver vertical, you've got plenty of writing space. Open. Um, it's not dot grid. This is more like polka dots. Dot grid uh, It's going to have vertical, um, gr uh, like a grid pattern. But you've got some cute polka dots up in the corner. And yeah. And then you have uh, Heather's handwriting for the days of the week. So that is your weekly layout, horizontal weekly. So if you're looking for a horizontal, a neutral horizontal uh, layout, this could be a really good option for you on really great paper. So that is your first month. At the end of the month, you just have a dot grid 
And then we get into our next divider, for I am convinced that nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. And then we have our currently page, our weeklies, and let's just flip through the rest of the dividers. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, Colossians 3, 1. For the Lord your God with all your love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Matthew 22, 37. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This scripture has been on my heart for weeks now. And yeah, I really like seeing this here because I have <laughs> been feeling very, very weary and knowing that God is the source of my rest is like always mind blowing. I always for I know I know this. I know scripture, but like I don't really know it when I'm at a place where I'm so I'm so exhausted and I'm like why am I so just weary and just overburdened and tired and I realize it's in those moments, yes, I'm sleep deprived and yes, I have a lot on my mind. But those are the moments when I feel the furthest from God, when I haven't invested in that relationship where I'm not praying and I'm not like seeking him. And he says, like, come to me and I will give you rest. There is such a deep like exhale when I think about um, just sitting in God's presence. I feel that that rest. Um, so I, I like that reminder here with this divider. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Galatians 2, 20. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. That's another really good scripture. Romans 12, 12. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. He remains faithful, 2 Timothy 2, 13. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart, Psalm 37, 4. And then, oh, I'm so glad to see this again. We have a sermon notes and Bible study section. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, the previous planner had two separate sections for this. It was sermon notes and then Bible study, I think. I wish I had brought it in from, from the bedroom. But now it's one divider tab, sermon notes and Bible study. And then you just have your open lined paper. It's got a bit more deco to it with the cross and the open journal. But just some simple lined paper. Again, that really good quality thick, um, thick paper. There is your back cover and the back back of the cover. So that is the 12 month undated horizontal faith planner from Calvo Plan. Let's take a look at the Faith Basics Volume 2. And this is another item that I have upstairs in my bedroom. So I'm not going to be able to do a comparison, but we'll see if I can remember the differences between the two for you guys, just in case you, <coughs> excuse me, have uh, Volume 1. Ooh, and I haven't flipped through this yet. So we are starting with uh, quotes. So this is all, I believe, uh, Heather, Heather's handwriting. These are clear black quotes. And if I read all of these, I will be coughing more than I already am. So I'm just going to do a slow scan for you guys. And then if there's some clutch ones that I have to, I just have to read, then I will. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things Philippians 4 8 let your light shine before others that they may see good works and glorify your father in heaven Matthew 5 16 this is the same set of quotes but in matching colors for the planner new quotes back in black these are all clear so far for I know the plans I have for you <clears throat> 
For I am convinced that nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Mm. Proverbs 31, 25. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God is with you. For I know that my Redeemer lives. I have loved you with an everlasting love. A joyful and cheerful heart brings healing to both body and soul. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. Cast all your anxiety upon him because he cares for you. Oh, these are so good. Same quotes, but uh, in the matching colors of the planner. So definitely more. There were quotes in the first sticker book, but there are more pages of quotes in this one. His mercies are new every morning. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. He restores my soul. No weapon framed against you will prosper. In the waiting, God is working. Blessed is she who, is be who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. Yay! So Esther 4.14, if you guys didn't know this, um, Esther, my daughter, was named after Esther in the Bible. Esther was the queen of Persia. But she became a queen of Persia during a time <clears throat> she was Jewish and um, was pulled into the king of Persia's harem. And over time, he found fa she found he found fa she had favor from him and he ended up marrying her. And <clears throat> her uh, I think it was her cousin told her this that perhaps this is the moment for which you were created because God put her in a specific place in time to have an, an impact for him and for his people. So if you haven't read the book of Esther and just the story of how this woman basically saved the Jews from mass slaughter by being put in a position of authority and having the ear of the king because he found favor in her and loved her. Um, you should read the story because I get really emotional and excited. When I think about the world that we live in and the world that I'm, I've introduced Esther to, I have a lot of worry, um, but I just believe that God has brought her here. And all of us are here for a specific time and a, a specific purpose. And I just want Esther to live into her namesake, to be someone who stands up for what is right and protects her people and uh, is known for her smarts and for her beauty and, and her charm being used um, to have a positive influence on people and culture. And so, um, yeah, I want more Esther quotes. Sorry, I know I went off on a tangent, but anytime I see an Esther quote, I'm like, oh, ugh, it takes my breath away. And I did not summarize the story of Esther well at all. So do yourself, uh, do yourself a good favor and read the story of Esther. And you guys will get a little bit of insight into uh, why Josh and I decided to name Esther, Esther. Okay, so now we're getting into some deco stickers. These are just some gals. They're praising, they're praying, they're doing some Bible study. These are clear stickers. We have two sheets of those. Then we just have crosses here, watercolor crosses, all different sizes <clears throat> with the florals. I like this kind of, um, it's like inverted, like an inverted cross with the, the framing of the florals. And then we have the florals that were around the crosses matches the design of the planner as well. These are clear. Love having those um, flat edge pieces for decorating. 
more of those florals, different sizes and shapes. Then we have box stickers and bullets. I'm guessing, knowing Heather, that these are going to fit into a specific place. So I'm curious if these guys, let's see if I can keep this open, are going to fit. Oh yeah, so these boxes are going to fit inside your weekly horizontals. And I wonder if, I wonder what size those boxes will fit. Um, let's see, these guys. Should we see if it fits in here? Maybe not. Ooh, these will fit, but they're bigger. And then the ones above it are smaller. So we've got our functional boxes in the matching colors of the planner. Then we have the same boxes, but with deco on them. More of those bullets. And our functional boxes with some washi strips. Ooh, I love these long ones. This is probably going to cover the length of the, yeah, those are gonna cover the length of the horizontal section. And then we have boxes decorated, washi decorated. Ooh, functional words. I love functional words. These are clear. Bible study serving gratitude. I love the two different sizes of Bible study, depending on what you're making. Serving prayer, giving tithe verse of the day, church sermon notes. Those same stickers in clear, or excuse me, in color. And then we have functional boxes. And I'm guessing, what size is that? This is going to be, this is going to cover three days on that. Two sheets of those, those sheets in uh, deco. I just love this green. The florals, second sheet. All right, this is so cool. So because this is an undated planner, Heather is giving us all of our dating stuff. So let me get up close. So these can go on your divider tabs. These can go on your planning pages. These to me look like divider tab labels though. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six different fonts to choose from. Very cool. I like the variety of fonts. And then same sheet, but in all blacks, so you can see the font types a little bit better. So those are for your dividers. Then you've got big months for your planning pages. And let's see, one, two, well, there's three, I guess. Yeah, so we've got basically, what, three years worth? Or, actually these aren't for, we don't have monthlies in, monthlies in here. This is going to cover, um, what, maybe three weeks? Three weeks in color per month, but then we have them in black as well three weeks of black per month. Does that make sense? Because you're using these in your weeklies now. And then here we have your dates or your numbers for dating your uh, daily pages or your daily, um, your daily sections. So these squares are gonna fit perfectly right next to your day of the week. So you can do it in the matching color or you can do it in black. And that is everything in this sticker book. So that is the undated horizontal, 12 month horizontal planner and the Faith Basics volume two. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent, but whenever I see scripture, 
uh, that speaks to me. I can't not say something. So I uh, hope you guys don't mind me sharing a little bit of my heart. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to pick these guys up, they will be available on Friday, October 3rd. 13th at 10 a.m. Central Time. I will put my affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anything, but if you click on that link, it'll just route you to the website and Heather will know that I sent you over and I will get a small commission off of your purchase. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. I'll see you in my next video.